Okay. I've got a chore ahead of me today. Oh goodness. Guys, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Welcome to the Happy Homestead. I'm Amanda. I'm feeling a little dirty, a little uh, tired. We came back from vacation yesterday and we were in the car for a good 10-ish, 11 hours. So feeling really tired, feeling like I said, a hot mess, but welcome to the Happy Homestead. We're real life over here. I have corn before we went on vacation, literally the day before we left. My husband's like, I have 50 pounds of corn coming. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. He's like, will you help me shuck it and process it? And I'm like, are you kidding me? We don't have time to do that. So he took this entire bag of corn here and he put it in our chest freezer just like this. This is all frozen solid. That was the best thing he could come up with. I don't really know that it was a bad idea. Uh, what he wants me to do is just kind of like trim off the ends, leave it in the husk and freeze it, like put it back in the freezer. Um, either Ziploc bags or maybe vacuum seal. I'm leaning towards the vacuum seal method. I asked him, I was like, do you want me to shuck it first? And he's like, no, just leave it in the husk. So this is a totally new experiment. Will it work? <laughs> Oh no, but I have a lot of corn I'm gonna process. I'm gonna show you what his plan is and then um, maybe we'll try one out for dinner tomorrow night. Okay, so I think, yeah, you know, I can kind of feel where the kernels start. So I'm just gonna do that. I think this is what he wants. This is um, silver queen. Queen corn. Oh my gosh. That might be too hard to do. Maybe I shouldn't do that part. Let's just do the top part. Okay. Let's try this again. So I had a semi-selfish reason for offering to do this. And that's because I cannot have a 50 pound bag of corn in my freezer. <laughs> I need to be able to get in there and get in and get out with stuff. And this thing was making it impossible. So I'm glad that I can work through this, help him help me and uh, We'll have some corn. So now I need to know, have you ever heard of people doing this? Cause I'm really not familiar with it where they're just cutting this part off and freezing it otherwise as is. Now I imagine it would be good if you're grilling it and maybe even boiling it. Um, I'm just, this is just a brand new method for me. I'd like to be able to get eight ears of corn in a bag. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, only because that it's like two per person for a dinner, for a meal, but it might have to be in bags of four. Let's see what we can do. So some of them can go a long way, but others with these long stems. I just don't know. I'm afraid I'm going to snap my knife in half. Too much. But maybe not. We'll try seven. Uh, well, look at that. There's seven. Maybe this isn't going to take as long as I thought. So I'm going to keep working through chopping and uh, vacuum sealing. Oh. 
all done. So if you're wondering, this is what 50 pounds of corn looks like. Uh, <laughs> Marley's eating his dinner, so it's a little loud. I have three packages of eight, four packages of six, and then I had one lone package of five. That first one I did had seven ears, but I actually had to cut that open and redo it. And the reason is because I think what had happened is one of the ends of the corn had punctured through the vacuum seal bag. And so it wasn't actually vacuum sealed. So I had to open it and do it again. And what I ended up doing is um, the more these sat out, so loud. Okay, I think he's done. <laughs> the more these sat out, the easier it was to kind of trim off those ends. And so I actually ended up doing that so that no other bags would get punctured. So these are gonna go into our freezer. I want to mention that usually when you're freezing some sort of vegetable, corn in this example, you're gonna wanna blanch it first. And so what a lot of people do will actually take the husks off, they'll blanch it, and then freeze it. You he might hear that process with a lot of things, broccoli, cauliflower, just a lot of vegetables. And the reason is because by blanching it, which is really dipping it into hot water or boiling water for just a couple of minutes and then transferring immediately to an ice bath, an ice cold water bath, by doing that, you're actually killing the enzymes that kind of break down the food and then by putting it in the water, you're stopping the cooking. So the boiling water kills the enzymes, the natural enzymes, and then the ice water actually then <laughs> prevents your food from continuing to cook. And so blanching is always recommended with a lot of vegetables. I didn't blanch, and I'm gonna be honest, I very rarely do. Blanching does work, it does help, it does keep the integrity of the, the vegetable, um, certainly the color, a lot of the texture, right? But that's for, in my opinion, long-term storage, long-term use. These are going to be used, I'm gonna say, within the next six months, max. I don't expect any of this corn to really last into the new year so by knowing that i don't have to go to that extra trouble besides the fact that my husband wanted it frozen <laughs> in the husks just like this and you know what i started this process out as you saw me on camera that was just real life like is this gonna work is this a good idea and this took no time at all i'm so glad i did it it helped him it helped me and um, I actually think this is gonna work really well. So I'll let you know once we break a bag open and we start to enjoy some corn. In the meantime, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.